subscribe and hit the bell icon. The koala. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Look, Hero, this is your paw print. The earth here is soft, and when you step on it, you see, this is my footprint. <coughs> Let's see if we can find more prints. Look, Hero, here are some prints. They are not yours. <coughs> Interesting. This print has two thumbs. I have never seen such prints before. What animal could they belong to? Oh, wow, a koala bear. It must have made those prints. Hello, koala bear. Your claws are really sharp. Shh, hero, I think you're scaring it. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Smile, koala bear. Hi, Katie. So, what did you find out? Hi, Leo. As I mentioned, it's called a koala, not a koala bear. It's not a bear. It is a marsupial, which means it carries its baby in a pouch, like a kangaroo. The koala can be found in different areas in Australia. What do koala bear, I mean koalas, eat? A koala is a folivore. That means it eats leaves. Koalas eat mainly eucalypt leaves and use trees as their home. Male koalas have a brown stain with a strong smell on their chest. Koalas also have two thumbs on their front paws and have very sharp claws. The two thumbs and sharp claws help koalas climb trees easily. Sadly, they are in danger of disappearing because their homes are being destroyed. Oh, that's so sad. If the koala doesn't eat, it'll starve. So let's bring the koala home and find a eucalypt tree for him. Come and join us. The koala would love that. Let's go. Come on, everybody. Join me in this party. One, two, here we go. For lots of fun and lots to learn. Come on, everybody. Join me in this party. One, two, it's your turn. For lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two. Looks like we'll have to cross the creek to take the koala home. <coughs> Hero, why are you barking? <coughs> oh, it's not you, Hero. Oh, no! Where did those ducks come from? No, koala, wait! They're scaring him away. <coughs> he won't leave. Leo, do you have some doggy treats? Good idea, Katie. Here, doggies. Go get it! Oh no! That dog is not falling for it! Koala! It fell in the water! <laughs> Good job, Hero! That was brave of you! Where is the koala? Wow! The koala can swim! Stay where you are! We're coming to get you! The koala is climbing up fast. He really is a great climber. Come on down, boy. We'll find a better tree for you. I hope you like it, koala. We did it. We found a perfect home for the koala. Great work, everyone. Hooray! <laughs> We found 
found a koala in our garden. We learned that a koala is not a bear, and they eat a lot of leaves. We took the koala home and found him an empty eucalypt tree. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Australian pelican. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. <coughs> you want to play with this ball, Hero? Okay, you stand over there and I'll throw it. Then you try to catch it. Okay, Hero, are you ready? Catch! <coughs> well done, Hero. Let's do that again. Here I go. Oops, that was too high. It must be behind the bushes. Hey, what a funny looking bird. It has such a large beak. It caught the ball. It must fit a lot in that beak. I wonder what type of bird this is. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now hold still, bird. Hi, Katie. Did you find any information? You're just in time, Leo. Look, this bird is called an Australian pelican. They have the largest beak in the world. They also have huge wings when they are spread out. So they live in Australia? Correct. And in parts of Papua New Guinea and Indonesia. They like to live around water. The pelican in our garden looks very small. Is it a baby? It's not a baby, but it's still very young. It might still need its parents to feed it. This young Australian pelican might be looking for its parents. Let's take it home. I'm joining you, Leo. See you downstairs. I'll jump in and find out what's going on. Great idea, Leo. There's a fishing line wrapped around the pelican's foot, and the other end of it is stuck in the rocks. Hero! Hero has snapped the line. Great work, Hero. Come on, Pelican. Let's get you out of here. You're a hero, Hero. Look, Leo. The Pelican's foot got entangled in this. People really shouldn't be throwing things like that into the sea. A lot of sea creatures have been hurt by rubbish being thrown in the water. You're right, Katie. I'm glad the Pelican is all right. Now let's take it home. Katie, look! There are two big pelicans coming towards us. It's the young pelican's parents. They recognize it. We did it! We found the pelican's home and its parents. Great work, everyone! Yay! Yay! We 
found an Australian pelican in our garden. We learned that pelicans live near water. So we took the young pelican home and reunited it with its parents. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Satin Bowerbird. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Hero, I'm looking for objects written on this list. Do you want to help me? Oh, great job, Hero. You found a ball. Hey, that's my sock. I've been looking for it. And this must be Katie's ribbon. Why are they all here? Did you take the blue objects from us? Is blue its favorite color? I wonder what kind of bird this is. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi Katie, did you find out what kind of bird this is? We're about to find out in three, two, there you go. This bird is a satin bowerbird. A satin bowerbird? I've never heard of those birds before. So they come mainly from the east coast of Australia. That's right. The one in our garden is an adult male. Females and young males are greenish in color. They live in the woods and eat fruit, leaves, and some insects. They are called bowerbirds because the males build a bower to attract females. A bower? A bower is a structure only built by male bowerbirds. It is built on the ground. It looks like a bird's nest. But a bower is not a nest. Nests are where female birds lay their eggs. A bower is only used by male bowerbirds to attract female bowerbirds. This satin bowerbird might have built his bower somewhere, but it got lost. We should help him find his bower. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Satin Bowerbird, wait for us! Look, Katie, is that a bower? It is, Leo, which means we found it. But why is it taking things from the bower and putting it in the jeep? Um, I don't know. Hello, Junior Rangers. I forgot to tell you something important. Sometimes bowerbirds destroy bowers from other birds by stealing their decoration or removing twigs. Oh no, so that's what it's doing now. Thanks for telling us, Ranger Rocky. No, bowerbird, you shouldn't do that. He won't stop. Hey, where are you going, hero? Oh, Hero, that's a brilliant idea. The bird seems more interested in the flowers now. He completely forgot about the bower. Nice work, Hero. Let's quickly fix the bower before its owner comes back. Look, the owner of the bower is back. We found the bower of our satin bowerbird. Great work, everyone. Yay! Hooray! We found a satin bowerbird in our garden. 
We learned that male bowerbirds build bowers to attract females. So we took him to the rainforest to look for his bower. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The yellow-footed rock wallaby. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Come and skip, Hero. I'm ready for you. One, two, three. Oh, is that a kangaroo? Look how well it's skipping, Hero. And what is this? It looks like the baby of the kangaroo. They look smaller than a kangaroo. I wonder what they are. I know. Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Say cheese. Hi, Katie. Have you found out what our visitors are? Hi, Leo. Guess what? They are not kangaroos. They are wallabies. Wallabies? Wallabies and kangaroos are from the same family. But, as you have noticed, wallabies are smaller. The wallabies you found are yellow-footed rock wallabies. They are called rock wallabies because they live in rocky areas, on cliffs, and sometimes in caves. And they are mar... marsu... I think you were trying to say marsupial, Leo. And yes, they are marsupials, so they carry their babies in a pouch. Their babies are called joeys. Unfortunately, there aren't many yellow-footed rock wallabies left where they come from, which is in only a few parts in Australia. That means it's very important that we take them home. Come and join us. Yes, Leo, let's do that. See you downstairs. For lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go. For lots of fun and lots to learn. With the Jeep, we'll be there in no time. Whoa! Whoa! Oh dear, I think we hit something. Oh no, it's a flat tire, Leo. Don't worry, Katie. We have a spare tire, remember? What is it, Hero? Leo! This tire is also flat. Oh, no. But we only have one spare tire. It must have happened because of all the rocks on the ground. Now we're stuck here. Hmm. There sure is a lot of grass here. Leo, we can fill one of the flat tires with grass. So even without air in it, the tire might stay firm. We just have to drive very careful. That's a great idea, Katie. But first, let me change the other tire. Done. Now let's pick some grass and fill this tire. The wallabies are helping us. Thanks, wallabies. That's great. Now it won't take too long. Great job, everyone. Now we can drive again. We did it! We found a home for the yellow-footed rock wallaby and her joey. Hooray! Yay! a yellow-footed rock wallaby and her joey in our garden. We learned that yellow-footed rock wallabies are endangered because there are other animals that eat the same food. So we took the wallaby and her joey to a place without rabbits or goats. 
Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Leafy Sea Dragon. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Look what I got, Hero. It's a marine aquarium, and it has special saltwater plants in it. Look at that pretty seaweed, Hero. It looks like it has eyes. <gasps> it moved. Did you see that, too? What do you think? Is this seaweed or an animal? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. So what is it? You won't believe it, Leo. It's an animal. The name of this animal is the leafy sea dragon. It's a type of fish. Leafy sea dragons are similar to the more famous seahorses. It looks more like seaweed than a seahorse. I wonder if it eats seaweed. No, it doesn't. The leafy sea dragon is a carnivore which means it feeds on other animals like tiny shellfish and shrimp. It has a mouth that looks like a straw, which it uses to suck up its food. So there's no food for the leafy sea dragon in the aquarium. The aquarium isn't a good home for the leafy sea dragon anyway. It needs to live in the sea, where there's plenty of food for it. And the best place for leafy sea dragons is in the waters of southern Australia. That's the only place in the world where they can be found and also where they can be safe. There are laws in Australia to protect leafy sea dragons. People are not allowed to remove these rare animals from the sea without permission. Then let's take the leafy sea dragon back home so it can stay where it's protected. Come and join us. Yes, let's go. See you downstairs. Come on, everybody. Join me in this party. One, two, here we go for lots of fun. Rocky, you got here fast. What's going on? I want to make sure nobody comes too close. A storm just hit this area, and it washed a heap of seaweed ashore. Leafy sea dragons live among seaweed, so they often get washed ashore with the seaweed when the waters get rough. Oh, no! So there might be leafy sea dragons lying in the seaweed? I'm afraid so, Katie. I'm looking through the seaweed to find them. I want to put them back in the water quickly so that they'll survive. We'll help you, Ranger Rocky. That would be great. Come in. Look, I just found a leafy sea dragon in this pile of seaweed. If you find any leafy sea dragons, put them in here. Yes, yes Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Good job, Junior Rangers. We found all the leafy sea dragons. Since we're taking our leafy sea dragon back to its natural home, we can also bring these, Ranger Rocky. That's wonderful, Leo. Please, take this. Look at how much seagrass there is. This will be a great home for the leafy sea dragons. There they go. Stay safe, leafy sea dragons. We did it. We found the leafy sea dragons a home. Great job, everybody. Hooray! Yay! We found a leafy sea dragon in my marine aquarium. We learned that leafy sea dragons are very rare animals that look like seaweed. They hide in seaweed so that other animals can't spot them. And we took the leafy sea dragon home to Australia because leafy sea dragons are protected there. 
Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Hola, exploradores juniors. Check out our Spanish channel by clicking the link in the description below. See you there.